guys, quick update here. Got a few things in. First, I uh, got a package from uh, our friend Bosnian Bill. He sent me the Sergeant Padlock that he featured in one of his last videos. Thank you very much, Bill. This is a great, uh, great addition to the collection. It's one of the smaller keyways. Um, don't see a whole lot of these. Um, so thanks again. Sent back the WB Padlock I asked him to pick. He said there may be a problem with it. He thinks there's a could be a broken spring. Uh, he was able to rake it, uh, but not SPP it. So once I have the key made, I have one of these with Gordon Weens. Uh, once I get that back, see if that opens it. And he sent me back this Sergeant Challenge Lock that he was not able to pick. Uh, this is one that I uh, did some modification on, uh, put some different pins in there. That is a stock bidding, by the way, if you can see that. Um, at least it's got my name on it. So if somebody U.S. based is uh, interested uh, in picking this, I would send it out for someone to mess around with. Let me know. Um, got a little surprise package from Flywheel IP Picking. Uh, read you this note. Buried in the chaff, you should find two find two cylinders with two keys each. Knowing you're a fan of Sergeant, and given that I've already picked these open, thought you might like to have them. I noticed both locks had a couple deficient driver pins. I took the liberty of fixing them. Unfortunately, in my haste, I accidentally placed the key pins in the wrong order during reassembly. I'm sure the keys will work perfectly once the key pins are returned to the correct chambers. Well, he pulled a fast one on me. Uh, these have some pretty, uh, pretty nice modified security pins in there. You can see how much that plug moves. Uh, I suck at picking. I was able to shim this one open, no problem. Uh, put the key pins back together and it works fine. This one, not as easy. I ended up pulling the top strip off and uh, putting it back together. And that bidding is not as bad. I, I didn't really know what was in there. The plug doesn't move. Well, moves a little bit. But because it's such a well-made lock and with these security pins, the, sh the shim would barely go through it. Um, maybe I'll try to pick them now uh, that I know that they work. So nice job there, Flywheel. I'm impressed with that. And... Uh, some picks from Peterson here. Wanted to try out the uh, new 018 uh, thickness. Uh, this is a Bogota. I ordered the wrong thickness. I'm just going to keep it. Um, and these all say made in RSA. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I hope they're made in the U.S. still. Uh, these 15,000 thickness are not for me. These are going to a friend in Australia. Uh, then I'm also sending him two of the uh, 18 thousandths. This is the hook one. Uh, so for myself, I got a gem, which uh, is Zio's favorite pick, if you can sort of see that there, and a hook one. Um, so we'll see how these uh, how these work out. Um, 15,000 picks I pretty much shredded. Not uh, extremely impressed with those, but probably my own heavy-handed picking uh, was the problem there. So uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out keypicking.com and have a good one.